in this video let's create a famous game right for children connect for do you know for connect for connect for let's google it connect for okay so yeah this one So basically it's like 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 this one so we yeah drop right drop uh, from the top like the pieces then whoever gets the first um, four in a row even uh, it can be vertical or horizontal or diagonally uh, whoever gets that wins the game okay so for example there's no here yeah three mm -mm. yeah this one so it will drop a, a blue one right then this guy will win the game okay now Let's get started with our, oh, there's, yeah, different format, okay? This one is huge. So now we'll create one for our iOS device. Let's bring up our Xcode. Okay, so this one, let's close it. Close it, minimize that, Xcode, yeah. So let's create a new Xcode project. Single view app, yes. Let's move it to here. And uh, connect for, connect for. Be careful, this is registered name protected by copyright. So, but here we, we just use it for or exercise okay you cannot publish this this game using this name um, Swift yeah okay next connect for uh, let's use this connect for okay developer connect for okay sure Now let's use a small simulator so it won't occupy too much our screen area. And uh, let's run it, make sure everything works. This guy. Yes, it works. This is the empty app. So now let's add our board view, right? So go to, let's create a new file here. New file. Coco Touch class. Yeah, because we want to create a subclass of UI view. So this one, board view. Okay, next. Create, accept the default. And here is where we want to put our drawing code, board drawing code, right? Now we can add this guy into our main storyboard. So let's select our corresponding template. Oh, uh, where is it? Yeah, let's select one. Do we have this one? iPhone SE first. iPhone SE second generation. Okay. So let's put our board here, okay? Mm. Click this icon to grab a UI view. So it's a square, this one. Drag, drop. 
and uh, that change its background color to something like I like light gray here okay mm. let's occupy all the uh, width of this screen size mm. let's give it a try run it yeah it's there so now let's set this guy the change uh, class use the force icon here to change this class to from the default UI view to our board view here yeah so now we can start um, working on okay so let's set the auto layout for this guy to make it a square for now so click this one and the top yes that's a step the 20 0 0 and uh, aspect ratio so we'll change this as double click that no it's gone double click it yeah let's change this to one to one so it will be a perfect square yeah now I think it's okay so let's go to the board view let's draw a board here so is it like six by seven let's double check no no this one do we uh okay it's gone let's google it again um connect four is it uh yeah seven columns okay it's seven columns one two three four five six seven by six row right one two three four five six okay uh, so six by seven let's define some constant here um we can create our one of our logical uh, data structure data structure so let's create a new file this time we use this um, connect for game okay connect for game or just connect for connect for game now we use a struct we want to put a lot of stuff here connect for game for now i will only let's define the static let uh, rows for example data type int equals right rows we have six of them so static let uh, columns C O L S seven. Okay, so because this is like X and the row is like Y, so we follow the mathematical convention. X goes first, Y goes the second. Now with that we can go back to view. So we can use that two um, constants. But we still need something for our own here that's defined our origin x and origin y is it means the board uh, the anchor point right here the board will be like that so let's define the constant um like that uh, origin 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 x CG float. We use CG float for uh, drawing. So what's that? Let's put just uh, anything here. Arbitrary number, thirty, and that that origin y CG float. What about twenty? And uh, that's mm, that's okay. So 
we draw a, a rectangle first, right? Mm, let's define our function for drawing board, right? Draw board, no. We don't need that. So function body and uh, create the board pass, for example, equals uh, you have a zero pass, right? You have a zero pass. And uh, the, oh, for the rectangle, we can actually we can use a better, mm, yeah, constructor rect. Do we need a round one? Yes, let's try that. Okay, so this one x, y, width, and the height. Okay, x, x will be our origin x, right? And y will be our origin y, width. So here, width. Mm. Let's bring up our favorite um, whiteboard, online whiteboard, auto draw to design. What is that? Mm. That's so we can use this whiteboard to design our game board. Okay. So V shortcut to select all of them and uh, can we do command A? Yes, delete. Now press D to for this draw. Mm, let's draw a rectangle here. So say the white is our our view, okay? So now Let's draw a rectangle here. This is our our board. So this will be origin X and origin Y. This point, the coordinates of this point. So how can we arrange our um, circles? Let's use, what about this one? Okay. Uh, we need a grid, right? So here we'll put our like first, second. Uh, maybe we can make a copy of that. Can we select using V? Click no. Uh, undo. Yeah. Select this. Oh uh, yeah. Copy paste. Yes. Can we drag that? Yes. Paste. Yeah, another one. Drag that. Three. And paste. Yeah, so be patient to design. Think about, right, thoroughly uh, about our problem. Four and five. And uh, that's, oh, let's put it here. And uh, can we? Paste again, yeah. This one. Oh, another one. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's increase this one. Like that. Okay. Cool. Can we drag that? Yes. So how can we calculate the thing, right? Say we need we need to hold the a uh, seven uh, circles. So we need for each one, yeah. So we can div we for example each one use one unit, right? So we use we need seven unit for that. Okay, so let's define the unit the unit for each each circle. So that, that, what, that, um, 
that squirrel side, okay? Squirrel side cg float equals something. So I mean this one, this squirrel, the squirrel around uh, each circle. So the side, the side can be 100? No, maybe too big. So 800, okay? 80, 80. So now that's. So now the, the total length of this one will be, right? Will be um, number of rows, uh, columns, right? Columns times this guy. So width is, well, it's the co columns is our connect for connect for game dot columns, right? Times this guy, this square side. And uh, yeah, you are complaining because this one, the data type of that is int. So we need to change it to CG float. Yeah, CG float. Okay, so we'll do the same thing, cg float, and uh, connect for game, dot rows, and then times the square side, right? Corner radius, let's use a proportional uh, strategy. So let's use one fourth of this guy, okay? So 0 0.25 times square side. Let's draw this one. Four times dot stroke, right? And let's call it draw board. And uh, run it. Wow, it's too big. So too big, let's make it smaller. And what about 40? Is it still too big? Uh, okay. So now, um, yeah, this is our board. Okay, so we can, easily adjust it, right its location for example push it a little bit to the right okay run it and pushing down by for example 50 so yeah cool so that's it for today see you next time